All right, y'all, welcome back to Comet Arms channel. Okay, so today we're doing a slightly different kind of video from what I normally do. Now I've done unboxing previously, but you know, I was going on YouTube trying to look at this specific thing and there weren't a whole lot of videos and I think it's just because this thing is pretty new. So today we're doing an unboxing of the new army service uniform. So they call it the pinks and greens. I think the actual term is like AGSU or army garrison service uniform. I'll put the actual name right here. But yeah, we've been calling it the pinks and greens. Now, I think the reason why the army was trying to change out their service uniform is just to appeal a little bit better for the for the general public, for like recruiting focus. So the US Marine Corps, of course, they have their dress blues. Everyone knows the US Marine Corps dress blues. They're very iconic. So it's very easy to you know, picture a US Marine because the, I mean, the dress blues have pretty much stayed the same for a very long time. So whenever you think of the US Marines in their dress uniform, everybody has that distinct image. Now with the Army service uniform, it doesn't really have that. And they don't really have, the Army doesn't have like dress blues anymore. So I think they were trying to do that to try and go to a focus of when like the US Army was really well known. Cause everyone pictures the US Army and how they see it in certain movies. And a lot of times those movies are focused around like World War II and whatnot. So the army is trying to do that shift and that focus back on the World War II image, which I think is a pretty good idea. Now, I will say these look very iconic to the Marine Corps service uniform, which I'll bring out right here. So this is my Marine Corps service jacket. So you can see it looks like a World War II style uniform, and that's because it, it pretty much is. This was like the uniform you'd see Marines wearing whenever they're on leave or doing stuff like that. And of course they have the dress blues for special occasions. So very iconic, really not too flashy. I mean, you have like, you'd have your ribbons and your marksmanship badges. You have the Eagle Globe and anchors on the collar, and that's pretty much it, so. Yeah, you also have a belt with it as well, but I don't have that here. So that's pretty much what the Marine Corps service uniform looks like. So I think the Army service uniform is trying to take that approach. So we have this box right here. Okay, so a lot of y'all are wondering where you can actually get the, the uniform. It's not being like issued to everyone. That's whenever they do uniform changes, they phase it in. So I think like you can still wear the old service uniform until I think about 2026, I could be wrong on that. But yeah, you're not gonna be required to, to have this uniform for a long time. And uh, yeah, if you want it now, you can buy it. I think there's maybe like one or two, maybe three installations that actually stock the uniform, or you can try and go online to Marlow White, which is where I got this from. And I think they just do most of like the Army's you know, dress uniforms, service uniforms, all that good stuff. They do a lot of stuff when it comes to uniform items. So you can go try and find your stuff in stock so you can buy it through them. And that's what I did. Cause yeah, I just wanted, I didn't really like the old army service uniform. It just, it has a lot on it. It's really annoying to try and put every little piece of, you know, there's like a million pins that you have to put on. And I'll show a little bit later, do a comparison, but it's a pain in the butt. And I think these look a lot better. So yeah, we're gonna be doing an unboxing. I'm not sure if this is the first on YouTube for an unboxing, but yeah, we're just gonna be getting into it. So we'll have this box here, try and break this open and show you guys what is inside. So this is pretty much the, this is like the entire uniform, except the unit patches, because they didn't have uh, my specific unit patch in stock. So they might not have all the unit patches. You can try and go to uh, Ira Green. I'll put those websites down below so you guys can check them out. But you can try and go there if they don't have your unit patches. All right, so we got it open. This was pretty quick delivery, I gotta say. It did get lost for like, a few days because there was a big snowstorm here. But other than that, pretty quick delivery, pretty quick shipping time. So open that up. Some, some paperwork that might dox me, so I'll throw that away to the side. And then we have this stuff here. So just some uniform care stuff right there. So there's that. I think we have probably the coat here, if you guys can see that. And then you have this piece of cardboard just to sort of hold that in place. So we'll throw that to the side and then we'll pull this out and check this out first. Okay, so we have this, I'm guessing is the coat. So let us unzip it and see what's inside here. So it's nice, they, they package it really, really nicely. You can see it's on a really nice hanger here. And there it is. Very, very cool. So here we go. This is the new Army service uniform. It feels pretty lightweight. I gotta say, it's not as 
thick as like the Marine Service uniform. The material also doesn't look as nice to be honest, but the buttons are really sweet. Show you guys a little close up right there. Those buttons are really, really cool. And then you have the belt. So again, very World War II style. Show you guys the back here real quick. So yeah. We'll do a little comparison right now with the Marine Corps service uniform, just so we can see how these sort of stack up with each other. Okay, so here we go. Army service uniform. I should really put this on a hanger. Marine Corps service uniform. So collars, a little bit different. Pockets look pretty similar. And then again, this one would have a belt if I had it on, but yeah. And then it will go to the shoulders. They're very, very similar. And you can see with like World War II uniforms, they looked pretty similar as far as the Marine Corps and Army. But yeah, that's the jacket. So yeah, we'll do a little close up or like a, I guess like a full body thing of everything later on. But this is pretty much it. Of course, you do need to get it tailored and have everything sewn on, but yeah, pretty cool stuff. It doesn't seem like this would be as hot as a lot of other uniforms. Also, the inside looks like a pretty nice material as well pretty easy to, to put on when you have this slick material. All right, cool, let's move on to the other items. All right, so we have this small box here. So I think this has like just all the accessories and whatnot, so again, really nicely packaged, so that's pretty awesome. It's got like little snaps, so you can open that up. And then here we go. This is super interesting to see. So these are some nice socks, so these are 76% cotton, 23% nylon, 1% spandex. And they look like boot socks, which is kind of awesome. I didn't even consider that because with the old uniforms, like you'd wear the shoes and whatnot, but you also wear the dress socks, which are super thin, really uncomfortable. If your shoes didn't fit that well, then your feet would get kind of jacked up if you're standing in it for a while. But these are like proper boot socks, pretty nice material too. So that's really awesome to be able to wear like these sort of boot socks. I, I didn't even like consider the socks at all. Again, you do order this as like a whole set. You just put in your sizes and everything and they figure it out for you. But that is awesome and pretty cool that it's made in the USA. So there you guys go. And he gets what, three pairs? So very cool. We have my insignia. So here you go. You got your, your service stripes combat bar thingies, and then you have the rank. So there is the rank right there. Really cool. Again, I'll give you guys a little bit of close up here. Hopefully it focuses, maybe not, but yeah. So there you go, there's the rank. And then you got this, you have rank for the, the jackets and also the shirts as well. We have the belt buckle right there, so Pretty solid, it feels like it's like steel or something. Pretty solid belt buckle there. You have like your combat patch, you can order that when you order the websites. So this will get sewn onto your sleeve with your rank and then your unit patch will also get sewn on as well. So that's really nice how they do that. Oh, okay, this is awesome. They actually included some, some shoe polish for the AGSU. So this is made specifically for this uniform. So AGSU Oxford, Oxford polish. So walnut brown, really, really cool that they included that. Okay, you have the trouser belt right here. So this is made by Vanguard. So open this up. It just looks like a normal web belt. So set the color is slightly different. The buckle looks very similar to the web belt, especially like you have in the Marine Corps. So there's your buckle and then your belt just has that fitting at the end. And then you can cut the belt just to make sure it has the right length and whatnot, what but there you go. It's just like a, a nylon web belt. So very cool stuff right there. And then lastly, you have your, you know, your insignia. So your collar devices. So if you see that with like the other service uniform, it's pretty much exactly the same. So you got your, your two collar devices there. So, okay, awesome stuff. All right, so let's put this away relatively neatly. Again, really nicely how they package this, especially with like its own case right here. So nothing's getting like, you know, bent out of shape or messed up or something. So yeah, huge props. If you want to order from these guys, they'll definitely take care of you. Okay, and then we have this other box here. So let's see if we can, okay. So we pull out this divider and then we have, so this 
is the hat. So they call it the, the garrison cap. So the AGSU garrison cap. This looks very similar to the Marine Corps garrison cap, but a little bit longer. And again, the material is definitely different. So you put it on your head like that. You could do the Pacific tilt as we call it in the Marines where you, where you tilt it slightly. I'm not sure if that's in regulations to be honest, but yeah, there you go. There's a the hat. You could also get like the, it's like a bus driver hat. I'll, try, I'll put a picture right here so you guys can see it. You can also get that. I think it's like another $130 or so. But yeah, that is an option if you want to do that. I don't. I, I think it's a little bit too posh for what I want to do. And I just prefer the look of that hat as well. It looks more World War II style, I think. Okay, and then here we have the tie. So we'll put out of this plastic here. And then... There you go, it's just your standard tie. I think with the World War II uniforms originally, they had like a like a lighter color tie. And this was like the one thing that they changed, at least the, the one thing that you could really tell that they changed with this uniform as opposed to the World War II uniform. So there you go, just a standard brown tie. Pretty decent quality. If it was a little bit better quality than the other army service uniform tie that you get, the black one. So there you go, there's your tie. And then we have the shirts and the trousers. So here we go. This is the long sleeve shirt. So there's the package, nothing too crazy. Again, everything is super branded with the, the Marlowe white. So here we go. You can pick all your sizes. You can pick a lot of like, cause I have freakishly long arms. You can pick like really long sleeve lengths, which is awesome. So you can really customize it well on their website. So you have some little fittings here. You can get rid of those. And then, yeah, there you go. There's a long sleeve shirt right there. Looks very similar to our Marine Corps. It looks very, very similar to our Marine Corps service uniform dress shirt. So there you go, you got your buttons. Show you guys the back. Again, you can get this customized really well. Of course, you can get it tailored still. Um, you can get a lot of the stuff tailored still to your body, but they have a lot of good like lengths and, and whatnot you can order on their website alone. So really cool of them to have all that. Especially for me, it's really hard to get shirts with sleeves long enough for my freakishly long arms. So really appreciate that they actually had those options. Okay, and then here we have the short sleeve shirt. So same packaging, open it up. Again, it looks very, very similar. It's very similar to the Marine Corps service uniform as well. You have your long sleeve and your short sleeve. And the only real difference you can tell right away with the other ones is the collar, but these look pretty similar. So there you go. Again, it is an undershirt. It's not really meant to impress. You can wear it without the jacket. So of course you're gonna get the other stuff sewed on if you're gonna be doing that. But yeah, there you go. Very basic but also pretty nice quality. Give you guys a close up, you can kind of see the quality of the material a bit and the buttons, show you the pocket. So pretty nice. Again, you should get rid of all the little loose threads so it doesn't look too messy. And of course you gotta get a dry clean cause yeah, I mean, they package it nicely, but it's going to get wrinkled if it's chilling in the box for a while. Okay, now lastly, we have the trousers. So, I'm colorblind, I don't know why they call it the pinks and greens. If this is supposed to be pink, then I don't know, I, I, my life is a lie because this is definitely not pink to me. So I don't know where the term pinks and greens comes from. So if you guys could assist with that, then I'd appreciate it. If it's from the color, then that makes a lot of sense, but yeah, I can't see it. It just looks like, to me, it looks like brown and, and tan. So <laughs> here we go with the trousers. Pretty basic stuff. Again, they're gonna be a little bit longer so you can get it hemmed. But there you go, there's your trousers. It's got, looks like seven belt loops. Pretty standard for uniform stuff. Again, got your buttons and whatnot. And then you also have like, with a lot of dress pants, you don't have a button, you can kind of just have this, this slider so you can just slide it in like that. And yeah, pretty nice. I mean, the inside has this like, it's like a grippy material. I'll try and get a close up of this. It's like a grippy material right here. Pretty thick waistband, so that's nice. Pretty decent branding on the inside pockets and whatnot. So there you go. 
All right, and then we'll do a little uh, up and down with the uniform, so I'll set everything up and you guys can see sort of top to bottom what everything looks like. All right, so there we go. We have the service jacket right here. We have the rank, we have the deployment patch, we have the hat. You can see the, uh, the belt with the buckle right there. We have the shirt and then the long sleeve shirt as well with the rank so you guys can see that. And then moving down, we have the trouser belt with the buckle. So again, just a little bit of a close up so you guys can see. We got the belt, the socks, the jacket, the buckle, all that good stuff right there. All right, so really cool stuff. I'm really excited to put these together. I'll try and do like a post in the community tab so you guys can actually see. Here's again a comparison with the Marine Corps service jacket. So I think the red looks a little bit better on the Marine uniform personally, and the cross rifle just looks sick. So I think it looks a little bit better on the Marine uniform, but this is definitely a step in the right direction. I'll show you guys my Army service uniform real quick. And uh, yeah, we'll just close out this video. All right, so there you go. We have the new Army AGSU, and then we have the old Army service uniform. So yeah, definitely more distinct to like a, more reminiscent of a World War II style uniform. This, I mean, it, it's cool. I mean, it serves its purpose. But again, when this has, when this is all set up, it's got a lot of stuff on it, looks a little bit extra. And then you have this, which just looks a little bit classier in my opinion. So yeah, there you go. There's your little comparison. I definitely think that is awesome. So I'm excited to get that. Again, I will try and get it set up and give you guys a little bit of a picture so you guys can see everything set up whenever I actually get that set up. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section if this is a step in the right direction. I definitely think it is. A lot of people, you know, experience those growing pains as far as, you know, just changing uniforms and whatnot, but definitely looks solid to me. So if you guys are considering picking it up, I would definitely recommend it. Again, those links are going to be down in the video description for you guys to check out. But thank you for watching. That is it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.